This video demonstrates how to transfer a graphite drawing onto a lino block using a spoon. The drawing should be made using dark marks with a 2B or softer pencil. Smooth, medium weight paper works well for this. I'm using printer paper. Cut out your drawing so there are a couple extra inches along one of the longer sides. Fold this over to make a hinge. Lay the drawing face down on the linoleum and fold the hinge over the side of the block. Tape it to the back. The type of tape doesn't matter so long as it stays put. Tape the bottom of the drawing as well. It's very important that the paper doesn't shift during this process. Any buckling will mess up the transfer. Use a spoon to apply pressure. The more pressure, the better the result. I'm using a wooden spoon, but metal spoons will also do the trick. I am able to get the best pressure by using the side of the spoon. You must be very thorough and cover every little part of the paper. Even when you think you're done, keep going. You're probably not done. Towards the end, you can peek and see if there are any areas that need more work. If you have access to one, this can also be done using a press. Once you've finished going over the entire drawing, you can make corrections with your pencil if needed. The graphite you've just transferred to the block is very fragile and will smear or lift off easily. Here I am tracing over the lines using a ballpoint pen. I began this drawing on the right side of my block so that my hand doesn't brush the graphite off as I draw. If you need to erase part of your drawing, or even the entire thing, you can use rubbing alcohol. 
I will demonstrate on a small area of this block because there are more steps to this process I'd like to show you. If you like, you could cut the plate at this point, but I'm going to show you how to apply India ink wash, which will make it much easier to see where you have and haven't cut. It also gives you an idea of what your finished print will look like. India ink is non-toxic and made from a mixture of carbon and water. Because it is water soluble, it will not adhere properly to your plate if you have not first sanded the surface. Dilute your ink with water. If it's too dark, you won't be able to see the ballpoint pen underneath. Cover the entire surface of the linoleum with wash. If you were to do this with only graphite on the block, all of your marks would lift off. Because I went over everything with pen, it will stay put. Another option, if you didn't want to do a transfer, would be to draw with ballpoint pen directly on the plate. This value would probably work just fine, but I wanted mine darker, so I added some more ink to my wash. Once you've coated the entire block with ink wash, allow it to dry before cutting. Now the block is ready to be cut. If you are dissatisfied with what you have done on the plate, you can remove everything with rubbing alcohol, as I am demonstrating in the upper left corner. At this point, you still haven't altered the linoleum in a permanent way.